Well, a local chef behind the dishes you're looking at on your screen here, competing for prestigious local and national titles, aiming to win over diners through his innovative and fresh recipes. I mean, doesn't it look good? And you have the chance to taste what he's cooking up. Mom Noon Chef Nick Omeritori joining me in studio this morning here. And we're going to plate up some dishes. We're going to talk about lamb jam. So thank you so much for being with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Excited to be here. Well, first of all, congratulations. I mean, thank this you. is local national titles. Can you talk about this? Because I've never heard of, of lamb jam before. Absolutely. So uh, put on by the American Lamb Board. Uh, lamb Jam Restaurant Month is uh, running for the month of May throughout restaurants in five cities in the United States. But today we're talking about Seattle. So we have eight restaurants competing. Cool. Uh, I'm representing Mom Noon Restaurant on Capitol Hill. And we're going to plate our dish today. Major, let's, okay, let's plate the dish. Awesome. What is this right here? So we have a lamb shawarma croquette. So what we do is we braise lamb shoulder overnight, uh -huh. and then we press it the next day and let it cool in the fridge. Uh -huh. And then we bread it and deep fry it. So it think of it like so a, good. They smell good, right? It's like a lamb nugget almost. Uh -huh. um, that's what I think it's a nice way to describe it. Yeah. Uh, and so let's go ahead and plate them. All right. So on the bottom, we have a spring onion yogurt. Um, so this is a uh, strained yogurt called Lavne that we use in the restaurant. Uh, really kind of good it's for- It's so tasty. So good. Yeah. Uh, this one has a little bit of spring onion, some dried mint in there. So that's our base sauce, really creamy and delicious, kind of cuts through the fat of the lamb. Uh -huh. uh, then we're gonna put our lamb croquettes right on top of that. Gosh, that looks so good. And then sticking <laughs> with the spring theme, we have a little pickled rhubarb relish. Um, so this is some pickled rhubarb, Fresno chilies, a little bit of mustard seed. And we're gonna put that right on top. Again, a nice acidic punch to kind of break through some of that richness and of the lamb. And this is your recipe. Yeah, this is my uh, this my is creation. This awesome. Wow. We like to have fun with our food at Mom Noon. You oh, know, we do some traditional things, but yeah. also think outside the box. Uh -huh. um, all right. So we're gonna go next with a little bit of our. This is a preserved lemon sauce. Uh -huh. So we take preserved lemons, some dried apricots, and we cook that down slowly, uh -huh. and then we puree it really finely. So we get this beautiful lemony bright sauce. We're gonna dollop that on top as well. I love how colorful it is. I wish that y'all could smell it through the TV. It smells <laughs> so good. We haven't figured that one out yet. But I know. That's, right? that's, that's, that's got to be next. That's the million dollar uh, idea for sure. Now, what is this? So this is pomegranate molasses. Pomegranate uh -huh. molasses is a very important dish in, in Lebanese cuisine. Uh -huh. uh, and so it is basically cooked down pomegranate juice with a little bit of sugar and some salt. Uh -huh. Delicious, tangy, and works really well with lamb. Uh -huh. uh, so we're just going to drizzle that on the other side so we kind of got the two sauce going here. And people can come and get this? Absolutely. We have it through the month of May at uh -huh. Mom Noon, available for dinner service. And then we're also going to probably feature it after that because people love it. I mean, They're it's, really going it looks crazy amazing. for this dish. Wow. We're going to tear some herbs on top of there, a little bit of fresh parsley, mint, and Ooh, dill. Oh, wow. And then basically that's it. This that is our. It looks so pretty. Thank you. This is, uh, we're really proud of this dish, really excited to be a part of the competition. And uh, you can also vote for us if you come and taste the dish. How you do we vote, vote for you? Online um, on the American Lamb website. Okay. You can vote for Mom Noon Restaurant. Uh -huh. And uh, so there's two competitions that are going on. There is one where we have judges that are coming in to taste the mm -hmm. food, and then they will crown the Lamb Jam Master. Uh, and that's going to be someone that's going to get to go down to Napa, California. Would that would be you, maybe? If I win. Okay, yeah. so that's how that works. Okay, yeah, I, I so get it. We have, it, we have eight, other, eight other chefs in the sure, city sure. Uh, competing. Thank you for as well. walking me through that. I just want to make sure I'm like understanding how the whole thing runs. And so yeah. the Lamb Jam Master from each city will then get to go to Napa, California, cook a lamb focused lunch at the uh, Cal uh, Culinary Institute of America at Greystone in Napa, and then tour a, uh, a sheep farm out there again. So that would be really awesome to get to go down and experience that. I mean, we have some really great restaurants in town, so I feel like the competition is going to be pretty fierce. Yeah, but what would got... that be like to, you know, to go down? down there and, and win that? It would be a huge honor. Uh, Mom Noon, we focus on lamb a lot as we are a Middle Eastern restaurant, yeah. and so we think that we have pretty strong cooking muscles when it comes to co comes to cooking lamb, yeah. and so I think it would be really fun to go down and meet the other chefs that are also lamb jam masters and get to hang out in California, cook some lamb together. I mean, lamb jam is also such a fire name. It is. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good name. <laughs> like, but what, talk about some of the other restaurants being featured. Yeah, so we have Spinasse on Capitol Hill, oh, uh, Walrus and the Carpenter oh, over cool. in uh, Ballard. Yeah. We've got uh, Rev in Fremont. Oh, nice. Um, we've also got Ascend over in Bellevue oh, participating. Oh, cool. wow. You're like hitting every neighborhood. We've got Monsoon um, in, I guess, the backside of Capitol Hill. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got a lot of, lot of different restaurants participating and some really strong chefs. Eden Hill, Max Petty at, at Eden Hill. Um, so we have a so it's big, big names in the city. Oh my gosh! So and tough you, competition. You said you actually did this competition uh, in, when you worked in Boston. Is Correct. That yeah, it? when I was working with Commonwealth uh, back in Boston, we did it in 2019, and, and we won that one, which was super fun. I mean, so. there's so many great restaurants in town, and I know I mentioned that already, but like to have your name on this and to have the restaurant be featured like this, I mean, that's tough stuff. To just like create something so beautiful. I mean, how do you even start? How do you even figure that stuff out? Well, so you know, as I mentioned, that Mom Noon is kind of this mix of a modern 
union of Middle Eastern yeah. cuisines. And so while it's we do pay tasty. homage to the traditional recipes with uh -huh. something like our hummus, our baba ganoush, uh, very traditional, something we'd be proud to serve in Lebanon. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have some dishes on the menu that kind of are outside the box, such as this lamb dish, where this may, this should, excuse me, this dish may have never been done before, mm -hmm. but it fits right on the table with the rest of the food at Mom Noon. Mm -hmm. And so it kind of creates that unique experience of kind of modern Middle Eastern cuisine. So people want to go, they want to try this out, they can yep. do it right now. Mom Noon Restaurant on Capitol Hill. We're open seven days a week for dinner, so oh, come wow. on by and check Nicole, it out. thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank this you for so having tasty. me. Oh, my God. Am I allowed to eat it or no? Absolutely. Oh, really? <laughs> if you just want to pick it up or you can use I, a spoon. I can. I'm like, I'm like, it's so beautiful. I don't want to screw it up, but I really, I We actually, made two, so get in there. I really do love lamb. Like, I am, I'm, and I'm very hungry right now. I don't Go know. for it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, wow. No, no, that's tasty. You Juicy, said, delicious. You said you braise that overnight? Yeah, so braised overnight, and then we reduce that jus down, and then we mm -hmm. press them, kind of like a little terrine, you and then taste, bread them and fry it. You can taste it. I mean, yeah. I, I mean I've, I've never done lamb, but I feel like, it, for me, it would be very easy for me to screw that up. I mean, that's delicious. <laughs> this is not a dish you want to make at home. I think it's a little yeah. bit too complicated. <laughs> that is fabulous. It's so tender. I mean, did yeah. you see? I mean, just meat. I didn't even need a knife. No. I just cut right through that with a spoon. Right with the spoon. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna toss it over to Abby. I'm gonna keep eating.